The importance of Fazl Sheikh's work is that he, he really gets beyond the idea of the other, of people in difficult situations as being somehow different from us and separate from us. His work is incredibly empathetic. The value of Fazl Sheikh's work to documentary photography in today's world, we think we know what we're going to see when we see images of displaced people, of refugees, but he presents something altogether different. He presents the individual. My early projects were much born of investigation to my own heritage, my familial links to the past. So early projects were across the distance between New York where I was born and Kenya where my father was born and raised. A second set of projects then moved on one generation further to the land northern Pakistan-Afghan border where my grandfather was born. So much of my work over the past 25 years has been a mingling of, of an attempt to cross cultural divides, sometimes religious divides, national divides, but also in some way to reconcile this rift or this duality within myself. In a way, wards such as the Lou Stuman offer the kind of freedom that artists need to engage the material that they feel in sync with their sensibilities without compromising their own aesthetic and their own documentary practice. I'm happy to be here tonight to honor Fezal Sheikh, whose amazing work embodies the spirit of the Lou Stuman Prize in photography. Uh, particularly his mandate, that we recognize photographs that are distinguished by heart and compassion. I think that in a way I was introduced to the realm of photography in a very unusual fashion. I was taught at Princeton that the photographic process had to be one of kind of deep inquiry, had to be revelatory in some way and perhaps even cathartic. I'd like to thank Lou Stuman for <laughs> his grace and generosity. He's looking at the man. heavens already in the auditorium <laughs> and the sound. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, we're stopping.